<laughs> Hello, I'm Sip. Together with my friend, we are developing a small survival game where you build your own airship, explore flying islands and collect resources. Welcome to my channel, where I document the whole process. This is episode 5. We made progress on UI, edit the scripts, enemies and more. The UI was bad, I know, it was hard to look at even though I knew it was temporary. I usually like to get the system working first and then worry about design. I came up with this. Like this is already my fifth iteration, but fortunately with your help on my discord, I quite like it. We have a hotbar with highlighted selected slot, inventory animation and panel design, same with containers. The ugliest part of the UI was for sure the build menu. You use it to expand your ship. I'm proud of this one. Now we have tabs with different kind of building objects and a nice slider bar, building object requirements and even some button hints here. The moment I finished the UI, I got this awesome feeling like this game is starting to take a shape. The UI update was a huge step for me and it gave me motivational boost to finish this game. Let me know if you like it. Let's move on. Unity Editor Extensions. I love them. Let me show you. To create a buildable object, you have to do these steps. You have to create preview mesh, swap all materials to the green ones, add colliders, rigid bodies, scripts. Then you have to create a final mesh, again some colliders and scripts. Finally, you have to create scriptable object and assign all these fields and models. All of this is just one button now. My mind is still blown from this. I created this window where you can place raw model and fill some details and when you click create, it's ready to be used in game. All scripts attached, all components ready, all files created. It went from tedious and lengthy job to just one click. Insane. I also made a second window, all live on my live stream, where you can check the whole process. This window is all about quick navigation between build objects. To check wall related objects, I need to find a folder, click here or go here to scriptable objects or find some preview mesh. Well, no more. Introducing the building object explorer. All building objects are right here with their previews and quick access to all the files. Also with the ability to delete and search them. You can probably tell how excited I am about this. Let me know how you use edited extensions and if you want to see some small tutorials about them. Moving on, trees now fall. <coughs> Moving on, I spoiled it a bit, but yes, the building objects now require resources. You can see the recipe in build menu and it will correctly use your items from inventory. The game now went from creative to survival. Finally, the resources have some use. Next, enemies. Well, okay, cubes that follow you for now, but it's a start. They have a side range and when you get close enough to the enemy, they will be alarmed, represented by this exclamation mark above their head. They start to chase you and I already implemented the health system with health bars above their head. That's it for this devlog, if you watched to this point start the comment with plus sign to let me know, leave a like and subscribe, it really means a lot. Thanks so much for watching, I will see you in the next one, bye.